I need an intro. Just start the damn video! What's up guys? Welcome to Days Off 2. I am getting ready to go. I just woke up and got my stuff together and I'm getting ready to go meet my family people for swimming. Yep. Not, not my favorite thing. Not my favorite thing to do. I don't know why. It's never, never been something that I cared for. But I'm, uh, I'm less of a fat mug than I was just a month ago. Literally. I forgot my shoes over there. Which actually leads me to something that I'd been thinking about for a while. I'd been under the impression that my weight gain had been tied to my time in third shift, and I think it was. I really do. I had heard countless times people tell me that stress and improper sleep and things like that can lead to weight gain. And over the two years, two and a half years that I was on third shift, man, I put on weight and I put it on fast and I could not get rid of it. And the thing was, I was eating, in fact, I was eating better than I am now because now back on first shift, all the restaurants and whatnot are, are open to me again. So I find myself coming home and stopping by like the Hardee's or something like that, which I did not do on third shift at the same frequency at all, and yet I'm cutting weight. So I really do think it has a lot to do with how little sleep I was getting and things of that nature. It was, third shift was not a lifestyle that I could keep going for very much longer. But because I'm, because I'm doing what I'm doing, I got swimsuits and things like that over there, and I got my switch, because that's important when you go swimming because I don't really do the swimming thing. I'm probably gonna go there, hang out, swim for like a half an hour, something like that, maybe. Then I'm gonna find one of those tables and I'm probably gonna play the switch. Well, as the days off thing is really just an open format to talk about stuff, check this out. This is gonna be cool. He's going in the room soon. This guy I got for quite literally 15 bucks. That's it, and he's really, really nice. I'm looking forward to putting him somewhere in that room. I don't know where yet, but I've got a lot of open shelves now compared to what I had before, so he's gonna be cool. So there, uh, did a little bit, little bit of review, showed something off, put some stuff over there, got my switch, got my things. Uh, that's all for the start. That's the opening of the video. Uh, Bill's going swimming, so uh, uh, see you at mid. See you in the middle of the day. Okay, here we are at the end of days off two. Getting ready to lay down here. About an hour or so. I uh, did not do a middle part. Normally these videos have three parts. This only has two sections. I did not end up going swimming and yada yada and this and that. But that none of that is really important. Um, subjects to talk about at the end of this little blogish video thing. And you'll figure out these are random. That's the whole point of days off is I did some stuff. Sometimes I'll talk about what I'll do, sometimes or what I did, and sometimes I'll talk about stuff. And almost always it will feed back into the shows and what, I, what I'm doing. So as for my own shows, let's go into that for, or let, let's go into something, uh, uh, what I chose to do. I tried to play the new Dragon Ball Z game for the phone. At least it's new to me, it's Dragon Ball Z Legends, and uh, I'm getting tired of how much these games want from us. It's, it's just ridiculous. Like, I turn the game on, it's like, hey, I'm a game, 
And I'm like, yeah. And it's like, would you allow me to get into these three different folders? <sighs> sure. And then it's like, hey, we would like to take information from the way you play, where you are, what you're doing, your phone, blah, blah, blah. These are, there's a big list of user agreements that we would like you to look into. It's like friggin' huge user agreements. And then you click, okay, I agree with that. And it's like, hey, uh, we would like to do analytics uh, as you play. So we want to know about like uh, your friends lists and how many people you play, how often you play, and blah, blah, and advertising, this and that. Can you please go through these three different tabs, read all this information, and then accept that we're allowed to do this? And I'm like, oh, oh my God. Okay, so you go through those, you tell it yes or no, whatever you want, I rejected all their analytics. And then it was like, oh, okay, hey, guess what? Uh, we're not done yet. Uh, we would like you to either download, like, can we download all of this game at once? And this will help with download times, yada, yada. Or can we download just pieces of this game? And then this is going to increase different things and that and that. And I was like, oh, my God. I was like, just download it all. Click. And then it's like, then it's not done. It's like, hey, uh, sometimes the, the game will be updating. And when it updates, we're going to be doing different things where we balance the characters out and everything. And we're going to need your permission. Do you agree to let us do balancing? Even if it's already on a character you already have and we're like a month into the game, we decide that that move is too strong. Hey, is that fine? I'm like, oh, yes, yes. That's fine. And it's like, hey, by the way, this game is free, but... And I just turned it off. I just turned it off. I really did. I don't know. I don't know what's up with it. I, I haven't played it. I haven't fought even one fight. I, it's, I imagine it's pretty good, but I don't know. Because that that just gets so old. And it's not just that. It's ever. It's, 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 look, old Bill Logan here. He's so old. He's so tired of this new world and... And he remembers, he remembers the good old days or something. Look, I remember there was a time, and this makes me sound so old. I remember there was a time I used to go to a place like Kroger's and buy groceries and give them money and walk out the door. Done. And you know what? The reason I sometimes got a deal was because the item was on sale. I know. That, that is mind-boggling. But, really... This was a real thing that used to take place, is things would go on sale and we would buy them for a deal. Now you need a card and you have to accumulate points and there's like shopper this and blah, and they want my phone number and my email and they want my card and they would give me a discount and then I got to, uh, I have to get points for shopping there for so long so often and then those points revert into a system that will give, stop it! so ridiculous. It has gotten so ridiculous in all the things we do. We need 25 different accepted permissions to get a cell phone game. You have to agree to like three user contracts and a streaming stipulation to any game that you put on your PlayStation or whatever now. And I can't even shop. I, you go to the gas station and they're like, do you have your loyalty card? Let us get the... Can, do you have a loyalty card? Can we get your phone number? What's your email address? I'm like, just stop. Just stop. Stop it. So dumb. So anyways, I did not play that game. There's, there's my rant. I apologize. Um, as for something else, though... I am working on my shows, of course. Uh, there's going to be comic book moments. I wrote my intro for it. I'm going to record that. And then from now on, I'm hoping that on Fridays, I'll be able to cut the video and it'll be a video that goes up on Saturdays. Real simple. It'll just be images of the things that I collected throughout the course of the week that I was interested in and that I read. And then, of course, I'll make my comments and yada yada, and then that video will go up. Real simple show. It's going to be on, of course, this channel, Reploid Productions. I am also still working on keeping up with the X-Men. The next review is going to be on the book right before the wedding uh, for X-Men Gold. And I'm still debating how I'm going to guarantee a keeping up. 
because I don't want to fall behind, but there's an awful lot of material in X-Men to, to go over now. And sometimes going one book at a time, sometimes 20 minutes a book in order to talk about that book thoroughly and go into the things I want to go into. <coughs> Excuse me. Sometimes that's going to be rough. And I, I can see it that it's tough to guarantee that I can't always set an hour and a half of my day out of the way. And you can't keep up by doing one book a day. You really cannot because, like right now, I do one book a day. I try to put that book out or that, that talk, and then that's that. But the problem comes down to just how much X-Men there is now. And I don't have a partner. See, if I could do that as some sort of podcast with somebody else that was reading the X-Men that could keep up with me, it would be a different situation. I could, I could do that a lot easier, but I can't, I can't do that by myself necessarily because it's really just a review show where I'm talking about stuff. I'm still going over possibilities on how to keep that going the way I want it to go, and we'll see what happens. And then comes the difficult part that we need to talk about. And that comes down to Fandom Night. And it's, it's a doozy. We are still experiencing problems with the group. And it's, it's, it's a multitude of things. It's just, the guys are tired. Work is ridiculous. Some people are on third. Some people are on second. Some people are on first. And we've, we've kept this project going for a decade. So I don't want to toss it away. But I also... It was never my intention to do just one show where the only thing we ever do is the Sentai Review. And the problem would be if it turns into just one show where the only thing we do is talk about the Sentai Review, it's going to start bleeding where sometimes you catch it on the Sentai Review where we don't have the other shows as an outlet and we end up falling into Star Trek discussions and falling into uh, comic books and things like that. And that's not what that show is supposed to be for. And then that gets to other people where they're like, I don't care. And then they, they're, just, they're ready to move on. And we need to figure out how we're going to fix that. So I've got to get these other shows, at least a couple of them up and running. And some of them, some of them, I don't know if some of them are coming back. Um, the gaming show, that's simple. But the gaming show does run into a problem I, it's going to be really hard, if not impossible, to get Shane on that show. Because it's probably going to be a Wednesday show for Wednesday night at around 8 o'clock, somewhere in there. And then it'll be live. Which, that would be, that, that, is, that is fine, because most of the group will be able to do that, and most of the group can talk video games. And the What's Up will be Saturdays, when the Sentai Review does not film once a month, where we go in and we talk about, hey, what's been going on in the network, blah, blah, blah. And however long that show stretches out is however long that show stretches out. Um, so that's two of the shows. Jabba Wrestling Corner, that's not going to change, but I don't think it's going to go live. Uh, the fourth thing that we need to talk about is the Sentai Review. That's going to stay the same, okay? Um, I wish I had my notes in front of me. My mind is, like I said, it's at the end of the night. My mind is kind of scatterbrained. Um, Pages of Fandom is the one we're having the most trouble with. Like, the most trouble. And it all comes down to one big problem. I read books as current as I can. Uh, sometimes I'm behind by six issues or something like that, and I am. I'm behind by a lot. If I showed you, if I showed you the giant stack of crap that I still have to read that I'm not even close to picking up yet, it would, it would, it would blow your mind. But realistically, I'm one person, and one person reads books as much as they can. But you can only read so many books, and you can only do it so fast. And that is that is the truth of it. Which I could I could play that into the show, and pages of fandom could literally be a show about the backlog and keeping up and doing topics. And and originally, pages of fandom was that we would go on and we say, hey, what's been going on currently with your comic book lives? And each of us would say, ba da da ba da da ba da ba da da ba da da, and then that's it. And then we would immediately go into a topic that discussed something along those terms. 
uh, we'd say, hey, what's your dream Justice League? Uh, let's say Justice League versus Avengers. Let's say, uh, what was the best... What was the best off comic you ever did? Like, like not main superhero lines. What was something like uh, Spawn, Witchblade, Arwen, those kind of things. And that was working. In fact, those shows that we did still have the highest views of any of our shows that we did at those times. So that's all good and fine. So now the real question comes down to what to do from that point. And I'm not 100% sure what to do from that point. Because I don't have Shane. Because the time that I would have to record, he's at work. And I don't have... Uh, I, I, I don't have Scott. He, he's not current at all. He could do the subject stuff, but he'd never be able to talk about what's going on in terms of current comics. So that, that phases him out... Completely. I, I don't have him for that. And then I don't have... Um, I'm trying to think. I don't have Greg, because he works second shift. And I also don't have uh, Seth, because Seth doesn't really read comics. And I have nobody for manga... And it was never my intention to bring people from the outside into this. And that's where things are getting tricky. I could continue these shows by taking hosts that are not, that are not already in my group. But that was never something I wanted to do. So now I'm in a type of troubled situation where I don't know exactly what I should do. I don't know. I could continue the show by taking outside hosts. I could. Easily. But the whole point of this thing was to be a local podcast group. And actually build the network from local standards. Knowing everybody. Having personal meetings. And that helped develop the personality of the show. Because we all know each other personally. We're not like internet friends. We know each other. We, we know each other's houses. We know each other's lives. We're, we're friends. On physical levels, we know each other. We're not Facebook friends or something of that nature. We are an actual friend group that has cookouts together. I mean, that's, you see what I'm getting at? And that was the whole point, to keep the show at the energy level it was, and keep the hosts familiar enough to be able to bounce off the way they do. And now it's it's in trouble. They're, the group the group is irritated and the group is having problems, scheduling problems and people problems for that matter. We we had a massive falling out with Nick to the point where he's not even in the show and then he asked me if he could come back into the show and I even granted the go ahead and then he stood us up on three different filming occasions and he never showed up. And he never gave an excuse. And then... And then, yeah, it's, it's just... Then, there's, then it falls into a bunch of personal friendship stuff, like what's going on outside where, where there's like things that should be happening or we should have been invited to and then that doesn't happen and then, you know, this is my party, not your party, that kind of thing. So... It's, it's a mess, um, and I'm trying what I can, but sometimes I bring it up, and then the group goes silent because they don't want to discuss the issues. If we can't discuss them, we can't finish, or, or we can't fix. So the group is in trouble, and we need to work on our own stuff before we can work on the shows. So while the Sentai Review is going to stay live and moving, I don't know the future of the other shows currently. I'm working on it, but I think we need to work on the group before we can work on the shows, and that's the truth of it. So, ending on kind of a rough note, but that was days off too. And we'll see what happens. Bye.
I have spoken. Take what you will from it.